Hi folks, welcome to Property Insider. I'm Antimo Ianella and I'm joined by Brock Harcourt's Chief Executive, Greg Moulton. Hi Greg, how are Hello, you? Hi Antimo, very well, thank you. Beautiful. Now Greg, uh, how's the property market going at the moment? The market at the moment is uh, very solid, Antimo. Um, we've just come off one of our better quarters, so the market's still turning property over. The majority of that is in the lower to middle end, uh, where we're still seeing first homeowners being extremely active. But the top end as well now is solid. So, hey, really good market, Antimo. Good, solid market. Great. So things are slowly turning around, are they? I think they have since about February this year. Um, we've seen good results. January was a little bit slower, and certainly towards the end of last year, of 08, was a little bit slower. But um, from January onwards, we've had a really good market. Great. Mm. So, Greg, I want to talk about a very interesting topic now, like the social media and the internet. Mm. How, uh, how is that helping people in their property searches? Antimo, that is an interesting question, um, and it's something until I guess the last 12, 18 months ago I didn't know much about, being you know, late 40s, um, always saw it as more of a young person's domain. But, uh, just a few interesting stats for you, Antimo. Google is still the number one search engine, but now followed by YouTube and then Yahoo. So what that's telling us is YouTube taking over from Yahoo as the second most searched engine, is people are looking for more um, visual material. So. Just sort of thought, there's a brand new search engine coming called Bing, which uh, is through Microsoft, and you know the, the navigation of that is particularly easy. And we see that, that will probably shoot up through the rankings. Some of the things that our people are using now to promote property and to promote events and to promote open inspections and all those types of things are Facebook, which is obviously a social and networking um, opportunity. We've got Twitter, which is more directs people to their blogs and information, and a thing called LinkedIn, which is a business networking forum. So we're very strong in three areas now. We're actually doing open inspections, we're having events, etc., etc., just primarily promoted through these social media networks. And uh, if you told me that I'd be Facebooking an open inspection, you know, 12 months ago, Antimo, I don't think you would have believed me. Uh, blogging's becoming extremely important as we're providing as much information as we can online. Um, so put all that together, we have to have a very comprehensive online strategy as a group and uh, real estate's just become, you know, involved in what is a very fast moving, as you'd well know, very fast moving entity. Sure. What's the, um, the advantages of, of searching for a property online? Uh, I reckon there's three, Antimo. I think the speed, so you can look at it any time, you know the properties are going to be there. Secondly, the information's up to date. So if you've got a newspaper or a magazine that's you know, a week or, or even a few days old, that information, internet is up to date the whole time. Uh, thirdly, it's just the amount of information that we can provide on the internet. The newspaper and the, and the magazines, etc. very limited information. Uh, the information that's provided through these other mediums, just a huge amount of information. So for the uh, consumer out there, yeah. huge advantages. Mm. And just, it's, it's very, obviously very easy as well to, to, to access. For, for most people, I would say. Yeah, it is. Look, we've got, uh, look, just if you just use Brock Harcourts, for example, yeah. we've got sites like, obviously, the Harcourts site, yep. which is now an international site. We've got our Brock Harcourts site, which is state based, and then there's office based, and then salespeople have their own websites now, which is incredible. Our luxury portfolio, which is for our million dollar plus. And we've also got leading companies of the world, which just locks us together with a whole lot of really good real estate companies around the whole planet. So there's you know four websites that people can get to our properties through. Overall, Greg, um, it seems like that that's where it's all going. People more and more are going to go online to, to find the properties. But obviously, I think people will still look at their um, their newspaper on the Saturday as well. Absolutely, and it would be wrong for us to say that you know newspapers are out and online's in. But the combination of online. Um, and offline, and as our IT guys say, online, offline, inline, so we've just got to try and get those balances right. Um, even radio as a medium, pushing people towards websites has become increasingly important. But people still love to read things. People still will want a newspaper. You still go out on a Sunday morning and people have still got their newspapers out. They're flicking through, in particular, the real estate, which is pleasing to see. But I just think everybody's just got to be really aware of what's going on there in the inline side of life. and. Uh, as a real estate company, we're just trying to keep ahead of the pack in that regard. Great. Thanks for your time, Greg. Appreciate it. Very much. No problems at all, Antimo. No worries. Now, you guys can check out the uh, quarterly price guide in today's advertiser, Real Estate Lift Out. And be sure to send in your questions to Greg. Uh, he'll be blogging uh, live on Wednesday from 10.30. 
Um, so get onto adelaidenow.com.au slash property and, uh, and get the, uh, the inside word on real estate. Thanks for your time. Cheers.